Can you relate to this feeling? As soon as your alarm goes off, you roll over and hit snooze. You have to get ready for work. You just don't want to get out of bed. You have a lot to do today. You've got a big presentation and you have plans with your friends later, but you wake up feeling hopeless and tired instead of excited for the day ahead. Lately, you've been finding it hard to enjoy life. You have low self-worth and feel like there is no point in pursuing your goals. Hopelessness, low self-esteem, and lack of interest and enjoyment are all signs of clinical depression, according to the NHS. If you feel this way too, we want you to know that you are not alone. We are here to support you, give you hope, and help you find ways to get through this. In today's video, we're gonna offer you four tips on how to help you cope with depression that are recommended by psychologists and supported by research. We're also going to teach you concepts you might not have heard of, like behavioral theory of depression, Keep watching to learn more, to discover new strategies you can add to your mental health toolbox. Build a sense of mastery. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, setting small, achievable goals and celebrating even your little wins can help with depression. How can you implement this into your everyday life? Imagine that you have a school assignment or a work project to finish. Doing the whole thing all at once might seem too daunting. Instead of just setting one big goal of completing this project, set little goals along the way. Step one might be writing the intro. Step two could be doing the background research and so on. Successfully finishing each of these steps will help you build momentum and feel more confident that you can achieve your larger goal of finishing the project. And this is one example of how you can build a sense of mastery. You've probably heard that exercise is an effective way to cope with depression, but did you know that part of the reason why it works is because it helps you build a sense of mastery? Dr. Alan Valentine, chair of the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, recommends exercise to his depressed patients because it helps with depression by providing a sense of achievement. Whether it's finishing a project, building a workout routine, or picking up a new hobby, Focusing on mastering small skills can help you cope with depression. Reduce rumination. According to an article published in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience, people with depression tend to ruminate a lot on negative experiences, which can worsen their symptoms. Ruminating too often can send you into a downward spiral, especially if you're depressed. Do you find yourself getting stuck in negative thought patterns often? Psychologist Alicia Clark suggests using gratitude to stop negative rumination and change your mindset. Let's take a second to try Dr. Clark's gratitude exercise together. Think about three things that you're grateful for right now. No matter how small they are, it could be a friend or something that happened today that made you feel happier. Focus on how these things or people make you feel. The next time you catch yourself ruminating about something negative, pause and write down three things that you're grateful for. Behavioral theory of depression. Megan Rice, a therapist at Talkspace, says that one way to cope with depression is to add rewards into your daily routine. This technique is based on the behavioral theory of depression. A Journal of Medical Internet Research article states that according to behavioral therapy, doing activities that are important to you and feel rewarding, like spending time with loved ones or pursuing a new hobby, are an important part of treating depression. Having a daily schedule that includes mental health coping strategies can also help you keep active, have something to look forward to each day and prevent you from falling into a rut. So what are some things that you can do each day that feel rewarding? Leave your ideas in the comments below. Challenge distortions. Cognitive distortions are negative beliefs that aren't based in reality. If you have a bad experience, do you tend to focus on the negative and believe that things will always go poorly? For instance, if you're feeling down, you may have thoughts like, I'll never get through this. I'm always gonna feel sad. This is an example of a cognitive distortion called overgeneralization. A study by Blake and colleagues in 2018 found that people with depression have more cognitive distortions than those without depression. According to Psych Central, one effective way to challenge cognitive distortions is to make a thought log. To create your own thought log, start off by writing down the situations you're in. Then write down everything you're feeling and thinking. Next, write down your answer to the following question. Is there any evidence that these thoughts may not be true? Finally, write down a more helpful alternative thought. 
The thought log exercise can help you recognize the effect that your thoughts are having on you and help reframe them into something more positive. We hope these tips help you work through difficult emotions and encourage you to find healthy coping mechanisms that work for you. Now we wanna hear from you, Psych2Goers. How do you deal with depression? Are there any routines or exercises you do that you find helpful if you're depressed? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and take a look at the suggestions from others in the community. And always remember that your emotions are valid and you are loved and welcomed in this community. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.